So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and yes, there is a giant coffee pot behind me. <laughs> so we are out here in Bedford County today, kind of out in South Central PA. I'm out here filming a number of other things. Some French and Indian War stuff, some covered bridges. But I saw this, I was researching, looking at Google Maps, I saw this. Well, not the actual coffee pot, but you know, the, the marker for it on Google Maps, yeah. I mean, there's Naomi, my Jeep, so you can see how big this giant coffee pot is. And of course, the question will get raised, why is there a giant coffee pot out here in Bedford, PA? Well, it used to be uh, like a a diner, like a luncheon place, you could have lunch. And this is not its original location. I think it was across, used to be across the street somewhere, I think. I think it was moved here in the 2000s. It was bought by the uh, Bedford County Fairground Association. They kind of saved it from being destroyed. I think they paid a dollar for it. But it cost them quite a bit of money to move it here, though. Yeah, 1927, it started out as like a, a diner or a, a luncheonette place, they called it. And then in uh, 1937, it became a bar, and then it kind of it kind of declined after that. I think the uh, the main road through the area used to come right through here, but then when they built the turnpike, it kind of directed a lot of the traffic away from here. I think they got some information here for it too. Yeah, the coffee pot. The increased number of automobiles during the Lincoln Highway era led to the development of problematic architecture. Pro oh, programmic programmatic architecture. Proprietors took daring approaches to appeal to the new motoring public, like building a giant coffee pot. Yeah, all across the country, oversized buildings were being created in the likeness of objects. Some were famous, like this one, the coffee pot. There was a shoe house. Oh yeah, I've seen pictures of the shoe house. Yeah, 1927, Bert Kuntz designed and quickly erected the coffee pot. You can read the rest of it there if you want to. Um, the coffee pot became a regular stop for Greyhound bus passengers. Yeah. In an effort to save the coffee pot, the Lincoln Highway Heritage Corridor moved it to this location and restored it in 2014. There you can kind of see what it originally looked like. More of a whitish color right next to a gas station. But there you go. Kind of a unique little oddity out here. Coffee pot. I think we'll have some coffee ourselves in a moment here. Let's go right around to the other side where the sun is shining on it. But you have to admit, it's kind of a cool oddity out here. Just a giant coffee pot. I'm glad they saved it and restored it. You know, because preservation is a good thing for historical objects like this from a bygone era. Because one by one, these things disappear. They're not preserved, they get destroyed, and they're gone forever. And all you have left is pictures. So I think it's good to preserve things like this. I'm glad there's still a giant coffee pot here in Bedford, PA. Speaking of coffee, Let's have a little bit of it, of it ourselves. You can tell it's kind of a chilly day. There's snow out here in Bedford. Hasn't snowed back home yet, but let's get some coffee. All right, but I think that'll be it then for this spot. Just a quick, short little video. This giant coffee pot here in Bedford. Enjoying some coffee of my own today. The chilly morning. All right, but we got some other places to head to today. Got some, like I said, got some covered bridges to head to. Hopefully, we can get to. And then I'm, I'm filming a video here on the French and Indian War as well, part two of my Forbes expedition. So hopefully, we'll see you on those videos as well. If you're driving through Bedford, you're in Bedford County, South Central PA. Coming in to stop and visit the coffee pot. It's right here on uh, Pitt Street as you're heading west out of town. All right, folks, thanks for coming along, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.